Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the V-Ray Dome Lite and especially the V-Ray Finance Dome which is a new feature that is available in V-Ray 6 and 3ds Max. This video is going to be part of the short series in which we are going to cover all of the new features that are available within V-Ray 6 so stay tuned for that. Coming back to 3ds Max, as you can see, we have a very basic scene setup. We have a car, at the top view we have a camera and we have a V-Ray Dome Lite. Let's turn that off for a moment and let's take a quick render. Yep, there's nothing at the moment. Let me come to environment tab and bump up the light just a little bit. Yep, now you can see that we can see the car clear enough. At this point in time, I think it's a good idea to turn on the dome light. And let's see what happens. Our V-Ray dome light is on and if I go and try to zoom in as you can see that my car that's zooming in but since my view dome light is like infinite according to the environment it's not getting set up so that that was a problem previously which was resolved by the view dome light what it does actually is that it makes the dome light a finite element so if i click on that as of now nothing appears if i go up just a little bit i have a radius so this is very small at the moment let me bump up to five and as you can see now that the v-ray dome light is finite it's not infinite like it, it was before now on top of that if you bring it up or down in the z-axis you can see that it's acting as an element so that means the very dome light bottom has to be the same as the bottom of the car so that that is the first part now our finite dome is quite small as compared to the car at the moment so let me bring it up 20 uh, yep seems fine let me increase it a little bit more so let's go 24 now our finite dome it is big enough for the car but the problem is that at the moment the base we have this stretching going on and also as you can see that the buildings they are a little bit distorted this is because the V-Ray dome light it starts to wrap all of the texture around the globe in a circle pattern so in that circular pattern if you see at the ends it is in a curve so we are having this distortion so in order to get rid of this distortion what we can do is that we have two more parameters the first one is the projection height as of now this is 0 0.066 let me increase to one uh yep it is solving but as compared to the car the road is still small let me increase it to four yeah th that seems reasonable now that problem is resolved Okay, so as of now, the ground blend is at 0 0.2 and the maximum value that you can achieve is 1. So if I bump it to 1, now you can see that it has become almost a sphere. Now, in order to see what is the impact, let me bring it down slowly a little bit. As you can see at the bottom, it is getting stretched and it's converting into a hemisphere. So I've checked it and it turns out that the value of 0.5, it works good enough for our scene. Let me go to my camera view. The buildings, they are a bit fine. 0 0.3, nope, 5.2, yeah, they, they are fine. So basically you have to tweak it a little bit. Now, as you can see that the V-Ray dome light, it is working quite fine. And in fact, if you move the light, the environment is going to move with it. But let's keep it at the, at the bottom of the car. It's quite near the car. Let's go back to the camera. Now our car is working completely fine and if you want to rotate the environment click on the dome light and place this here and then you can rotate that you can come here and you can change the horizontal rotation and it's working quite fine actually but let me bring it back to 207 another way that you can rotate the HDRI is by going down and you have this option log textures to icon and now if you select your HDRI and you try to rotate it it's a handy new feature and it's working like a charm. Now most of our problems have been resolved but there's one that's still remaining. As you can see that at the bottom of the car we don't have any shadows at the moment. So in order to resolve that let's pick up V-Ray plane which is basically an infinite plane. That's working fine as you can see it's infinite. In the V-Ray 6 we have a new feature which is the V-Ray shadow catcher. Uh, this is the icon. So what you have to do is that you have to select your plane and then click on this one, this icon. Now, if I bring up the frame buffer, as you can see that even after clicking on the V-Ray shadow catcher, we don't have any shadows at the moment. So what's the problem? Actually, if you select your V-Ray dome light and if you go to the bottom, there's the cast shadows. 
So if you click on that, now it's working. It's working like a charm. And that's it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more content.